Hello everyone, my name is Marianne, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little bit since I've uploaded, but today we're going to review the Wet n Wild Regalas Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick or Liquid Lipstick. Um, I've seen these go around and I, I really wanted like a really dark red, bloody, like vampy color, so I thought we'd try it out today and see if it, you know, works or if it fades or whatever. Um, so yeah, let's just get on with the video. What a wild mega last liquid katsu liquid matte lipstick. These are new. I really I believe they like were released about um, a few months back. And I have the one video vixen. And it's like a, a vampy color. I've been wanting a color like this for a long time now, so hopefully it becomes my favorite. Just gonna swatch it for you guys. Um, so this, I freaking love the packaging. It reminds me a lot of the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks with the clear wand and that is the applicator. This is a regular doe foot applicator. It's really sturdy glass. I really like it. It's sleek and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a nice packaging for like four bucks. Great deal. So this is the swatch. Be red. Let it dry down for a minute or two. Oh, there's like a lot too. Ooh. Like that. That way it doesn't dry out. So what? Well, that's drying on the hand. I'm just gonna apply it to my lips and see where that takes us. With no liner, hopefully this is not disastrous. And now make a total mess of myself, please, because... Okay. Cool. And I did, prior to this, I moisturized my lips like 10-15 minutes ago, so there's nothing on my lips. Right off the bat, it's very smooth, not sheer. It's a little hard to apply, but that again could be just me because I have really small lips. So I'm gonna obviously have to go back in with a second coat because that's very salty. But it's really smooth and it's drying out nicely. I don't feel like it's taking away the moisture to my lips. I'm gonna give it a second and then we'll just apply the rest. The applicator itself, I will say, like the doe foot, is a little flimsy to me. I'm more, more like accustomed to a sturdier applicator. Sorry guys, my camera keeps cutting me off. But the liquid lipstick already dried. Um, I fixed it up with concealer because that was a messy swatch. I'm sorry about that. Um, but here it is on my hands and here it is on my lips. I went over like two times so I can get this really dark vampy lip. But as you can see, the dry is completely matte. And I'm going to rub it to see it's transfer proof. There's like a little bit of red going on but it's not it's nothing that you know nothing major some 
Let's see if it's dry now. I'm gonna do the kiss, kiss through. I'm gonna kiss my hand because I got no more else to kiss. Um, there's a little bit of transfer, but it's probably because it's not completely dry yet. If you are familiar with the um, regular Wet n Wild liquid, what is this? This is the Wet n Wild Mega Elastical Lip Color. These. These were matte as well, with most of them. These were so drying that you could feel like your lips like dying. Um, and they used to like crumble in the middle of your lips. So hopefully the formula I'm trying out now doesn't do that. We'll see. But yeah, because if there's anything like this, for right now they don't feel as drying. They don't they feel really nice actually. And they're not sticky at all, so that's good. So hopefully this is not this is this is terrible. So just so yeah. I'm gonna check in with you guys throughout the day to see how it's going on. Um, hopefully I won't have to retouch up. If I do, I'll let you guys know. And right now the time is about 1 in the afternoon. So I'll check back in with you guys whenever I think it's necessary or in a few hours. Or if not, if I don't have to check in at all, then I'll see you guys later in the night. So yeah. It's been a couple of minutes and the lipstick is starting to fade right in there. It's been maybe like half an hour since I, you know, finished. So we shall see if it gives me that whole butthole lip, which nobody likes. But, um, I hate that. I really do. I'm thinking of applying a clear um, liner to see if that can be fixed. We'll see. Okay, guys, so I just ate. It's about 6.05 in the evening, and I just ate, had dinner. I just had dinner and this is what the lips look like. So as you can see it's smeared quite a bit. Not a lot. Nothing I can't manage. But um it's smeared a bit and it already faded in the inside. Which I guess I already knew was gonna happen. But yeah, I'm gonna fix this and I will check in at the end of the night with you guys and give my final thoughts. I'm back you guys um so it's been about nine hours eight hours um since I've put the lipstick on and just had this makeup on um but yeah the lips I'm gonna go a bit closer to you guys this is what it looks like it's not looking too good of course my face as well my foundation I'm testing out another thing so that aside um but yeah it's starting to crumble as you can see, I can, ugh, I can feel it crumbling, and if I go like that, it's, yeah. So, and all I had was, like, chips and salsa just now, so, so there's that. The swatch in my hand also faded. Of course, this only had, like, one swatch. Of course, this is in my hand, so obviously it's for washing my hands and stuff and stuff. But yeah, I'd say roughly about, this lipstick is good for roughly about like 6 hours um, without eating and drinking. I mean, if you don't eat and drink all day, probably stay in touch, but I mean, a person, a normal person drinks water and all that stuff, so this is, it's gonna usually like fade in the middle. It's still transfer proof, it's just like starting to get like the little like pigments of lipstick, like chunks, which is weird, but I mean the formula is not my favorite. I still really like the color, the um, Colorina or Chica Cosmetics formula better. They don't crumble and all that stuff, and they're like really good. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> it's a really good like a lipstick if you don't mind the crumbling inside, but um. If you could get your hands on the Chica Cosmetics one, I would recommend that one. They have really nice shades and all that stuff. Just for the packaging aesthetic wise, I think it's good. So, is there a necessity? No, if you're like a liquid lipstick collector, you might want to. You don't. If you want something that's going to stay on your lips, I don't think this is the one. But I mean, I give it a 8 out of 10 rating. Or let's say 7.5 out, out of 10 rating. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give it a like if you did. Comment down below anything if you have any questions or if what's your favorite liquid lipstick. Let me know. I'm interested. Um, and sorry I've been away, you guys. It's, it's 
been a it's been a month. Um, not too good. Um, I'll get I'll probably touch on that later. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.